Hi friends, this is Fire on Pop, and today I have another in my series of armed citizen stories. And uh, so, let's get right to it. This morning out of St. Louis, Clayton police say two teenagers broke into a house on Southmore Drive in Clayton early Sunday morning. The homeowner heard the commotion and shot one round from his 9mm pistol. Police say the teens ran from the house and met up with a 15-year-old who was driving a stolen getaway car. Police say the teens crashed the car following a short chase and were arrested. Rose Breo, uh, who was getting a coffee from the Cl uh, Clayton Coffee Shop Monday, said, I think it's great. I wish I had the nerve to do it. She went on to say, I'm all for it. I think I'll go take some shooting lessons. Uh, this story kind of bothers me a little bit because um, it doesn't say what he shot at, if he shot at the uh, the suspects, uh, if they were in his house at the time, um, and it sounds like they were, but uh, I'm just assuming that if that's the case, uh, kudos to him, okay? <clears throat> now this is a story that we've heard before, but it's been updated a little bit. Fired for pulling a gun on robbers, pharmacist suits, which is the new twist to this. He says he was defending himself, but Walgreens let him go for breaking store policy. A Michigan pharmacist who fought off armed attackers by firing a gun on, of his own uh, to thwart a robbery attempt in May was hailed as, as many as a hero. After the hair-raising confrontation that was captured on surveillance video, Jeremy Hovind's employer rewarded him with a pink slip. Now Hovind is fighting back, filing a federal lawsuit against Walgreens for wrongful termination. Way to go. No life was lost, no life was harmed, and nothing was stolen, Hovind lawyer Dan Swanson told NBC News. So in the context, I think he was a hero. He was exercising his reasonable right of self-defense in the face of a gunman who attempted to pull the trigger three times and shoot him, presumably, presumably shoot him dead. Hovind was working the overnight shift at Walgreens in uh, Benton Harbor, Michigan, in May when two armed gunmen burst into the front door. One pointed a gun to the back of uh, one of Hoven's fellow employees while the other leapt over the counter into the pharmacy area. Hoven immediately grabbed a gun of his own in his hand while holding the phone in his right hand. Caught on the surveillance video, the armed robber behind the counter attempted to fire at Hoven three times, but the gunman mal but the gun malfunctioned. Praise God for that one. Hoven fired three shots of his own, causing both gunmen to flee the store while without anyone being hurt or anything being stolen. A fellow employee quickly scrambled to retrieve one of the guns left behind. The two gunmen are still at large. I feared for my life, and in self-defense I fired my weapon as I continued to move, move from him, Hoven said at a press conference. He hurled over the counter in a single motion and pointed his weapon at me. The gunman repeatedly attempted to fire upon me. The incident resulted in his termination. Hovind has a concealed weapons permit, but did not inform Walgreens that he was in possession of a gun at work. A weapon he purchased, he said, after the store was robbed in 2007. Store employees received comprehensive training on how to react and respond to a potential robbery situation. Walgreens said in a statement, law enforcement strongly advises against confrontation of crime suspects. Hoven's lawyer said that Hoven never saw those store policies and acted properly. He added that Hoven continues to deal with the one-two emotional punch of having a gun pointed at him and nearly being killed and then losing his job on the top of that. Wow. You know, you really got to count your blessings when somebody points a gun at you and fires three times and the gun malfunctions and doesn't, doesn't fire. Uh, and have the presence of mind to draw your own weapon and fire back. Um, uh, I, you know, hats off to Mr. Hoven, and uh, and I hope he wins this lawsuit. I mean, companies need to realize that, that individuals, a person, has the right to defend themselves. Okay, whether you're on company property or not. Now I understand the company doesn't want to sanction that, but to uh, terminate the employee is uh, is is a criminal offense. Okay, in my mind. Anyway, 
Let's move on to the next here. A man pulls a gun to stop attack on woman, police say. A Madison man stopped an attack on a Madison woman by pulling a gun on an alleged attacker Thursday night, Madison police reported. The man with a gun held the suspect, Lorenzo Brown, 24, of Madison, at gunpoint until police arrived, according to police uh, news release. Brown was attentively charged with battery, disorderly conduct, and resisting following an incident in an apartment on South Park Street that was reported at 10.30 p.m. Thursday. Madison police said the 41-year-old Madison man who came to the 39-year-old woman's aid would not be charged for pulling a gun on the suspect, but arriving officers did order the gun holder to the ground and put handcuffs on him because they didn't know the details of the situation at the time. Police spokesman Joel Despain said the man got involved when he heard screams in a common hallway of the apartment building and went to investigate. He saw the suspect standing over the woman, stomping on her head. The Spain said he yelled to the man to stop, but his pleas felt on deaf ears. The man went back to his apartment to get his cell phone so he could call 911, but he couldn't find the phone and grabbed the handgun instead. He went back to the hallway and pointed the gun at the suspect, once again ordering him to stop. The Spain said this time the suspect, suspect uh, paid heed. The woman got up and fled the building with the gun holder keeping his weapon on the suspect. The suspect initially swore at him but later calmed down, the Spain said. The man feel, uh, feeling the situation had been defused put the handgun in his pocket as the police arrived. Officers were responding to the report of weapons offense with a dispatch advising the officers that a man was holding a gun on another man. Not knowing the circumstances, both suspect and man with the gun were ordered to the ground and handcuffed. The gun holder was very, uh, very cooperative, but the suspect was not yelling obscenities at the officers and allegedly threatening to harm them. Or uh, once officers understood the situation, the citizen was released. The gun holder was shaken by the incident, but felt uh, he didn't pull the gun on the suspect. He could have resulted in a bad situation. Uh, he was afraid if he didn't do something, the woman might end up dead. The woman, who was not seriously injured, told police she came to the apartment to building to use the suspect's cell phone. The suspect claimed he and the woman were going to have a romantic interlude after the meeting in the park, but that did not happen because he said she pulled a knife on him, the Spain said. Now, <clears throat> that story's got a lot of mixed messages there, but uh, you do use your weapon when the police arrive, my advice is to put place your weapon on the ground, not in your pocket. Okay, that that's not going to make the police feel any safer. Put your hands up and and wait for the direction of the police. If they tell you to lay down, you may get handcuffed. Uh, all those things until they sort out what's going on. So, uh, yes, I understand it. It would be unnerving to get handcuffed. I've thought of that. As, you know, if I had to use my weapon when police arrive, uh, more than likely you will get handcuffed and, and detained until they figure out what was going on, who you are, and that you were legally carrying, and that the situation warranted uh, the drawing of the weapon. Okay. So those are the stories for today. I hope you enjoyed them. Um, you can find me on Facebook at Fire on Pop. You can find me on the web at FireOnPop.com. And as always, be safe out there, and God bless. Bye now.